Welcome to Working with the Interaction of Land Use and Transportation Systems. My name is Rick Wilson and I'm glad you're here for this course. My background is as a professor at Cal Poly Pomona in the Department of Urban and Regional Planning. I also have a transportation planning practice and a focus on parking reform and transit-oriented development. In this class, we'll investigate the causal relationships between land use and transportation systems and review the different views on the subject. One is that transportation is a response to demands that result from the spatial dispersion of activities. A second view is that land use is a response to opportunities created by transportation systems, such as the development of the interstate highway system, enabling the development of residential suburbs. A third view is that transportation and land use co-evolve and co-evolve in response to technological innovation, and will trace the transition of new technology uh, in transportation and how it affected transportation and land use. This diagram gives a preview of what we'll be talking about as how, in showing how cities have evolved from essentially relying on human power and animal powered transportation, which was very slow, to the current era of automobile transportation. The course contents are as follows. We'll discuss the historical co-evolution of land use and transportation systems. We'll explore some economic theory. We'll critique the post-World War II land use patterns that have emerged, and then explore some strategies in land use planning and strategies in transportation planning that can address the interaction of land use and transportation. Towards the end of the class, we'll explore the transition from single purpose systems, both in land use and transportation, to adaptable systems. And finally, we'll conclude with a discussion of the future of land use and transportation relationships. Why this course? I think we're in a historical change from a way of looking at land use and transportation as parallel play. The idea of uh, kindergartners uh, are playing beside each other but not with each other. And parallel play is how we used to do land use and transportation planning. Land use was the exclusive domain of local government and zoning generally followed market demands. Transportation was more a top-down endeavor influenced by federal, state, regional, and county initiatives, and the two realms were not closely coordinated. Now we're trying to be more comprehensive about these two realms, and what we can see is uh, regional and state interventions in land use regulation, more proactive zoning, and requirements for coordinated strategies between land use and transportation. So let's begin.